Hello people of the internet. Well, some of you will be looking at this and going, oh, I know what that is. And other people will be looking at this going, I've got no idea what this is. <laughs> well, a while ago, a long time ago, many years ago, I made a video about this box. I think it was called something like the Roadie Art Box. And it was what I used to take with me when I went on holiday with all my art journaling stuff. And the other day, I remembered that I must still have it somewhere. And so I hunted it out. <laughs> As you can see, it is... Let's get the light on it because you can see the dust. Yeah, covered in dust. <laughs> and I have not opened this since I stopped crafting, doing art journaling, basically. So I have no idea what's in it. My plan is to make this my travelling colouring box. Look at this. Can you imagine it? You could have colouring books on one level, gel pens on the next level, pencils on the next level, art markers and alcohol markers on the next level. It could be the ultimate travelling, going away on holiday, colouring case, couldn't it? But the first thing we've got to do is open it and see what's in it because I have no idea. So let's get these latches undone. Okay, let's get the top of this open and see what's in the top of it, first of all. Oh, okay, that's confused me. Oh, I thought the last time I used this was when I used to do art journey and take it with me on holiday. But I used to take this top section to calligraphy. I used to do calligraphy at college, at an art college locals are here um oh my word <laughs> i forgot about these things how long ago was that i wonder yes these would have been the the mounted on board because every year and i've even still got the velcro on them look <laughs> every year at the college used to do a sort of display of works undertaken by students and um these would have been on display i would have done these that's interesting, isn't it? I can't believe I forgot about those. So I'm guessing all this top section is going to be calligraphy stuff. Well, that's just an empty box. That is some nibs. That is... I wonder if I should use that one. Yeah, lots of pencils, because we used to do this practicing with dual pencils more pencils which I think are all different yeah they're W.H. Smith ones oh Stedler a polythene bag oh look does anyone remember these you can't get these anymore these are Krylon 18 karat gold leafing pens and they don't make them anymore because they've got um what does it say is it uh not ethanol let me look it up yeah ethanol <laughs> may cause anemia or damage to kidneys if you breathe it in. They don't make these anymore, I don't think. You can't just get them sort of, but yeah, that's a gold and silver leafing pen. And that's like proper gold and silver. So it's not just, you know, it looks a bit gold-ish. It, it is 18 karat gold in there. And there's two craft knives. What is this? Oh, this is a fountain pen. Who is this fountain pen by? It's probably the one that I just use for everyday writing. I used to use a fountain pen all the time for everyday writing. What's this? Oh look, scribblers. That's where obviously where I used to calligraphy and illustrating supplies. And there's two two pen lids and the edge of the lid for the scissors that I used to use. This is a really difficult to film with one hand. But we will go for it. This is a um, a cheapy kids um, geometry set that literally I just would have bought for the compass because you use a compass quite a lot there's actually two compasses in there that's another compass isn't it well that's not a compass that's a well it's sort of like a compass a thing for making circles drawing circles that rubber band back after then there is some oh look how much this has run out this is uh herma glue and label remover but it's totally either it's just either evaporated or or run out there's literally nothing literally nothing in there 
And some kitchen towel, which was actually the old college kitchen towel. It's that rubber thin stuff. Ooh, what is this? Oh, look, a full eraser stick. Which where is the eraser that that goes in then? I must have that somewhere. Another knife, a scalpel, which we used to use for cutting out fancy letters, basically. Okay, another two pen lids. Lots of pen lids in here. Where are all the pens for these pen lids? Hold on, hold on. Can't pick them up. And then in this tiny little, look at this baby pencil case. Isn't that cute? In there are two, what are these? Edin calligraphy pens. Well, these would have been for practicing. It's a lot easier than dipping ink. So in the corner there seems to be some flowers. I don't know where they've come from. They can go in the bin. And there's a stamp. Ah, oh, look. Majesty. Hmm. Uh, oh, I just realised this thing here. This is a calligraphy. Let's get it out. This is a calligraphy tool. It is used for. I don't know if it's specifically for calligraphy, but you use it for. Um, measuring out the exact lines for doing calligraphy. All right, let's get this quick. There's some flowers in here. These are scrapbooking flowers. I probably took them in to college to lend them to someone to decorate their work. There's a chip clip. There is some Windsor and Newton calligraphy ink. Uh, some Waterman, two different colours of Waterman ink. Some more flowers. This would have been made up gouache because, um, yes, actually, if, that's probably the gouache that I used. No, different colour. I thought it was the gouache that we used to use that because we used to make up gouache. This is Windsor and Newton gouache. We go, gouache, gouache, <laughs> that we used to use uh, in calligraphy. Another scalpel. I'm scalpeled up. A Signo. Is it a signal white gel pen? It is, used to be my favourite for doing highlights. A paper piercer, no, a ball tool. More very stained ink blobby things. Oh God, it feels like a lifetime ago that I did calligraphy. Um, and there's some stars and bits down there. I think that's pretty much it on that level. Well, just tipped it all out on the floor. <laughs> Let's get down to the next one. I'm excited to see what's in it. Let me get the top off. Okay, so clips, the clips at the side are open. This should just be able to lift the top off now. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Talk about serendipitous. This, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me put it down here. This is a stencil that I used to use in art journaling. <clears throat> and it's got the queen on it. So it's got a stamp and a teapot on the um, union flag and a crown. And this is <laughs> it's serendipitous because literally, <laughs> well, if you, I, I'm, like I said, I'm filming this on the 17th of September and the queen died a week ago. So there you go. Um, this is just a sea white journal, which obviously I took with me. And we've got some more border masks which ones are these I don't know but some border oh I must have been art journaling it must have been around the jubilee time you know look so I've got flags what is this one that one is the alphabet and I have wondered where these all went these are all my other some well not all my other some of my other stencils that I used to use in art journaling I did wonder where they all went. I can't, I mean, I'm supposed to be showing this as a oh, stars and various other bit perfect for art journaling backgrounds, them ones. Okay, so just put those away and see what's left in the bottom of this. So these are, okay, that's a palette knife. And these are, um, oh, what are they called? Pan pastel soft tools. I used to love my pan pastels. In fact, the other day when I was looking for them, I wondered what I'd done with all the tools, and they're clearly here. And proof that I have very well loved my pan pastels previously in time. 
There's also a kneaded eraser and a set of Derwin Aquatone pencils that I didn't even remember that I had and they've not even been used. Should have featured them in my uh, pencil collection video. I don't even think they make these anymore. And I've not even used them. So, Okay, let's get the next level off. Now this should be easier because it's just... Oh, <laughs> it's become very easy to disassemble. Okay, so this one looks like it's the sketch pad section. And there's nothing in that one. Let's have a look in this one. Oh, yes, there is some drawings in there. So obviously I was practicing eyes and uh, faces. Oh, I think that was that, oh, what was that woman's name that did that video? Anyway, it's Dewey. Let's see what else is in there. Oh, Birdie. I used to be fairly good at drawing birdies. That's not too bad. I think that's a blue jay. Oh, there's a lily there. No. Oh, a lily. And what was else? Oh, yeah, not quite so good at drawing Cadbury's. And, uh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Bottle of ink. <laughs> Remember the story behind that one. But there you go. Anyway, so yeah, there's a sketchbook. And then there's another sketchbook. Are they all the same? Or is this... Yeah, I have no idea why I would have taken three sketchbooks with me. I've got to uncross my legs. My legs are going numb. Ah, sorry if you can see my feet. <laughs> um, and then this is just ephemera by the looks of things. Oh, let's put my legs somewhere else. Hold on. You don't need to see my feet. That'll put you off your dinner. Um, yeah, so this just looks like it's ephemera. So little plastic envelopes with ephemera, which I would have used for art journaling back in the day. More ephemera. And this would have been for calligraphy, would it? Oh, I don't know what I'd have bought that one for. Square paper. Ah, no, it would have been this, look. Oh, my legs. I'm too old to be kneading on the ground. Tangles. I probably bought square paper to practice tangles. Okay, let's get the last level open. Okay, last level. And <laughs> clearly this is the stamping level. Oh, there's a Distress Ink still in there. I sold all my large Distress Inks and I obviously forgot about that one. A rolly stamp. Oh no, the date on it is 2010. Does that mean that this has been untouched for 12 years? No. Then there is two little sets of alphabet stamps. Some roller stamps that I used to use in art journey. Just I didn't bother with the handle, just roll them across the page. Date stamp never been used by Claire Peb uh, by Claire by Glitz Glitz Designs. Some alphabet stamps always by Pebbles and then stamps in clear plastic wallets. So oh, that's a nice one. Got a bit yellow that one. Oh yeah, mostly alphabets. Oh, um, stitchy patterny thing. Great for art journaling. Art journaling stamps, look, dirty ones. Wings, never used. Distress ones, more distressing ones. I used to love that one. These ones, they're not very yellow. And then birdies and labels, and that's it. Okay, so this, this all used to be in there. <laughs> And now I'm going to attempt to use it for my colouring travel kit. How exciting! Hello people of the internet. So look, here's the art box. Remember I showed it to you when I discovered it and I undid it and I showed you um, what was in it and I said I was going to pack it up for holiday. Well I did. So do you want to see what I did and what I've put in it? So. Let me just get a chair, because my knees won't let me <laughs> sit down. And we'll have a look, shall we? Bobby! Bobby! <laughs> so look what's in the top. So in the top, I have... I've literally used it when we was on holiday. Pencils. These are my Brute Funas. These are my Artezas. 
and these are these bits of paper here are just um, paper for putting between alcohol markers and then swatch sheets that match those things now in this top section what fitted really nicely and i'll insert a picture of it here were the two boxes of oh hoo hoo thin markers they fitted perfectly in here uh, and along the side i could put i'll show you the picture so this is the top with the alcohol markers in and these fitted so perfectly so these are the two slim oh hoo hoo marker boxes which fit there and then this tray of alcohol markers fitted there and then the thin alcohol markers so basically i had fat the really slim new ones and then the ahoopers look at that fitted so beautifully in the top but once i found out that these yellowed i decided not to take them instead um move these as you'll see so yeah and i was like that's brilliant i'm taking those just as they are but then i found out that they yellowed so they literally <laughs> You just got taken out of here and I moved everything around. So pencils now went in the top. So this, the top is probably not as uh, efficiently packed as it was when it was used for the alcohol markers. So I'm opening the second one now. We'll take the top off. Okay. So this is now alcohol markers. So in this section, I have... These are the 36 colours that are usually in that case that I use for colour by numbers. And I've just got them in this plastic pot. It's one of those A5 pots that I get from the range. We can get them from Hobbycraft. They're probably available on Amazon as well. And then this is the... This one run out of ink. That's why it's down the side there. And these are the thin um, alcohol markers that I got from B&M that I showed in my recent haul. So I told you I have two sets. This is where the other set are. They came with me on holiday for some wonderful mandala colouring. Let's get down the next layer. So move that one out of the way. This is the gel pen layer, which I have here. All of these ones in here are... Um, fluorescent markers they're from different brands if i pop it open i can show you there you go so there's the color technique i, can, I like the color technique gel pens the oh i have to put my black toe out of the way <laughs> my toe is still black from the princess anne event anyway the these ones are the color technique uh fluorescent pens my favorite pens but i'm not mega fan of the fluorescents i'll only use them in certain coloring books and then these are a cheap brand i'll link them down below they're really good these are the only fluorescent pens that i've got now so i've put them all in this case and they fit rather nicely in this case this case came from a three pound set of gel pens that i got from sainsbury's during back to school time either last year or the year before the pens have Wait, well gone but the case still exists i then have in this box and i love this box this box came from hobbycraft it cost £3.50 i have all my color technique pens now these used to be in a um like a pencil case you know one of the pencil cases with the leaves but look how neat they are in here this box is very similar to the box that you get when you buy the is it the, i don't know if it's a full set of sakura gel pens jelly pens or whether it's you know it's a big set anyway so this is it's not all of the 80 because i've just shown you these fluorescent ones are not in here but all the others are in here so two four six eight ten eleven there is 69 ooh, uh, pens in this case and that's all my colour technique pens and then obviously that sits on top let's do it up what's down the side here are the refills some crazy point in time I put refills into tubes don't ask me why they are there now these three pens are here because I have been using those 
different golds on a colouring page that I'm doing. And in this, whoops, this little wallet is more, uh, let's get it open, is all of the colour technique refills. This is a, these are the ones that I haven't used out of one set yet. So this is the gel pen layer, which I love. And then finally is We've had pencils, we've had alcohol markers, we've had gel pens. What's left for the last layer? <gasps> colouring books. Yes, this is where the colouring books live. So these are the colouring books I took away with me. When I just went away, I took a million cute animals. I took rose windows. I took matchstick mouse. I took nighttime mandalas, which is one of the books that I use fluorescent pens in. I took floral mandalas because I just like this book. I took fantasy tiny homes and I took 50 stylish mandalas. So in the bottom there, I fitted, look how well they fit as well. Oh, I'll tell you what doesn't fit in here. Your Kirby's, your Joanna Bassford's, that sort of size. So if you want to take one of those, they don't fit in here. So three, four, five, six, seven and I do believe I had another one in there I did I had the floral mouse one in there as well but I took that out to show you in my haul so it's like eight coloring books so eight coloring books the gel pen layer the alcohol pen layer with two different types and then the pencil layer oh, how wonderful this worked amazingly on holiday I loved it so thanks very much for watching. My travel art box has now become my travel colouring box. And uh, yeah, take care everyone.